welcome back to India Speaks Daily. I am Mr. Narankar. Friends, you have been a wonderful bunch of people who have been encouraging our endeavors to spread the counter uh, left liberal narrative uh, by sharing and liking our videos and contents and also sharing your thoughts uh, in the form of comments down below uh, this video. So thank you very much. Today, uh, I'm going to speak about the uh, attack which was carried out uh, uh, on the Vistron uh, company which uh, manufactures uh, iPhone parts uh, for India and uh, for exports as well. Uh, so let me begin. Uh, this company is Taiwan based company called Vistron, uh, which was attacked recently uh, by a large number of uh, unidentified people. Now the question is why was it attacked uh, at the first go? Uh, before we answer these two questions, uh, uh, let us talk about the let us talk about the company uh, in a paragraph or two. Uh, it is situated in Kolar, uh, 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 just uh, sixty-five kilometers from uh, Bengaluru, and it manufactures, as I told, iPhone parts. The company had uh, 2,000 employees in June and it tally raised to 12,000 employees in October. Uh, the operations were going on full, street, full steam uh, uh, in the last few months. The company was paying uh, rupees uh, 22,000 per worker for an eight hour shift which is well above India's uh, wage for unskilled workers. Besides this, uh, it provided a favorable condition of working. Uh, therefore, a worker's revolt uh, in such a robust situation is uncalled for and it is hardly believable. So who led the revolt? This is obvious question uh, we have to answer and uh, the answer was the company authorities uh, clearly said that uh, the vandalization of its plant uh, was orchestrated by outsiders. In fact, the violence on Vistron's uh, premises was masterminded by one Sri Kant. Uh, who is a leader of Students Federation of India, which is a student's wing of uh, CPM. Uh, and Srikant was later arrested by the Kolar police. So why did the communists incited the violence on Vistron? The vandalization was orchestrated following a ban imposed on hundreds of Chinese companies by Narendra Modi government uh, over an increasing bitter uh, border showdown between the two neighboring giants. We all know that. Also, it happened when many of the foreign companies, including Vistron, uh, had shifted their units uh, to India from China uh, due to the spread of COVID uh, pandemic. The violence was instigated uh, to show India in a poor uh, light in terms of providing local security to foreign companies, low productivity levels and uh, existence of severe pandemic situation and make them believe that uh, returning to China would be a better option for them where they have the most stable uh, market and potential of registering uh, tremendous growth. In fact, 
A Global Times, a mouthpiece of the Chinese government, uh, did an article on the same lines titled uh, Chinese netizens call for Apple to move manufacturing back to China. Not only the Global Times, but also many international media portals which receive billions of dollars for, from Communist Party of China and its affiliate uh, companies in the form of advertisements uh, quickly lapped on to this incident. Uh, resultantly, the news spread like a wildfire in global media like Bloomberg, the New York Times, uh, the Washington Post and uh, the Wall Street Journal. Apple to, pro uh, uh, Apple to announce a probe in the matter and dispatched a team to investigate the incident. This is not the first time China uh, has played a role in dis disturbing the operations uh, of non-Chinese companies in India. Sometimes back, uh, the Chinese companies uh, had funded uh, the anti sterlite uh, uh, protest in Tamil Nadu. Uh, in fact, this was uh, revealed by a sterlite company owner, uh, Mr. Anil Agarwal, uh, before, uh, when he made the submissions before uh, the uh, Madras uh, High Court. The, he claimed that uh, the Chinese-backed NGOs and uh, companies had uh, funded anti-sterlite protests uh, to put pressure on the weak uh, Tamil Nadu government, uh, which ultimately decided to shut down uh, the plant. The shutting down of uh, the sterlite plant benefited the Chinese companies. It forced India uh, to import two billion dollars uh, worth copper, which sterlite, anyways, uh, used to satisfy uh, used to satisfy earlier. Now, uh, this is the same tactic, ladies and gentlemen. This is the same tactic uh, that. Uh, the communist uh, ecosystem in India uh, is applying to close down the Vistron facility in Karnataka to ensure that the Chinese companies benefit. And as usual, ladies and gentlemen, the mainstream media in India covered the attack prominently, but buried the Chinese politics behind this attack. Old habits die hard, you know. Jai Hind, one day more.